Hi, welcome. Our lecture for today will be flow measuring devices. So in order to appreciate the topic, we will start our discussion with giving you some examples of how these measuring devices are being used on board. Then we will differentiate open channel and closed conduit flow measurement. Then at the last part of our lecture, we will take a look at some examples of differential pressure flow meters. Let's get started. Okay, so in order to appreciate the topic, let us take a look at how these flow measuring devices are being used on board. So the system that we have here is yung seawater system natin. So, lahat ng G na nakikita natin dito, for example, in this particular case here, the G is 1076.6. It means, uh, it indicates flow. Flow of a certain liquid. So, in this particular case here, the seawater. So, the unit of our flow measurement here is tons per hour or ton per hour. So, the importance ng monitoring this flow measurement here is makikita natin yung distribution ng particular substance natin. So, in this particular case here, yung seawater natin is papunta dito. And then, as what we can observe, the other water will be flowing towards our diesel generator freshwater coolers. However, if we're going to take a look at this value here, may G dito na zero. So, ibig sabihin, in this particular case here, Walang seawater na pumupunta dito sa ating steam uh, condenser. So, anong relevance yan ngayon? For example, if sira yung valve natin dito, so we will have a flow rate towards this uh, steam condenser. Same with our three-way three, uh, three -way proportional valve here. So, the importance of this three-way proportional valve here is to maintain the temperature of our seawater. In this particular case here, 20 degrees centigrade. So therefore, uh, as of this moment, pag 20, uh, pag 20 degrees centigrade yung temperature natin, yung tubig natin is papunta labas dun sa overboard. Pag hindi naman, pag hindi nakaabot ng 20 degrees centigrade, ipapaulit niya pa to, ilulup niya pa yung tubig papunta dito, paainitin niya ng tubig hanggang ma-reach niya yung 20, 20 degrees centigrade. So later on, Makikita natin yan in our application with uh, PID system. But in this particular case here, makikita natin na yung flow rate dito, that the G is equal to zero. Okay, so how are we going to measure the flow rate? So later on, we will take a look at some examples or some devices on how these flow rates are being measured. Okay, so as of this moment, let us first uh, differentiate yung open channel at saka yung closed conduit uh, flow according to engineering toolbox in an open channel flow the force causing the flow is the force of gravity on, on the fluid so basically nyan if we have this example here yung open channel nakikita natin yan for example sa mga rivers or lahat ng mga walang sirado dyan Wal walang tubo or something so in this particular case here the, the most example common example here is yung sa mga waterfalls so, those are some examples of open channel. Okay? So, the flow here is being affected by the elevation. Hence, there is a flow from this high elevation towards the, this lower elevation. So, basically, in an open channel, yung reason ng movement natin or flow ng water natin is yung difference in elevation or specifically the force of, of gravity. In a closed conduit, channel naman, uh, closed conduit flow occurs when the flow is caused by the pressure difference in the conduit. So, in this particular case here, if this is our pipe, yung pipe natin, ang Q natin dito indicates the flow rate. So, paano daw nagpo-flow yung uh, reason in a closed conduit, yung mga tubo? So, pag mas mataas yung pressure dito na side, kumpara sa kabila na side, then there is a flow or movement of your fluid. Okay? Very important yan. Ang importante, mas malakas yung pressure dito kumpara dun sa outlet na side. Kasi pag mas mataas yung pressure dito sa outlet na side kumpara dito sa dito banda, so of course, yung flow rate natin is papunta dun sa kabila. Okay? So in this particular example here, 
yung flow rate natin is papunta doon kasi yung pressure dito, diba? yung pressure dito is mas mataas based on this gauge pressure here kumpara dito sa kabila. Okay? And then the difference between this pressure and then this pressure is indicated by delta P. Ito yung delta P natin. Where delta P is equal to the pressure around here minus the pressure at our outlet. Okay? And then the relationship, and this, the relationship as indicated in this graph here is directly proportional. Although hindi siya linear, but what we can see here is if there is an increase in the differential pressure, the delta P here indicates differential pressure. Okay? In differential pressure, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, yung difference between uh, a certain two pressure, two pressure measurement. Kaya nga tinawag siyang differential pressure. So, ang ibig sabihin ng graph na ito, it indicates that the higher the differential pressure, okay, the higher the differential pressure, the higher the, the flow rate or the higher the, the Q. Okay, so, let us take a look at the seawater system again here. So, let us relate na kung mas mataas ba yung differential pressure natin, mas mataas yung, yung flow rate in our system. So, as of this moment here, if we're going to take a look, yung P natin dito is 1.6 bar. Okay, and then to increase the pressure, we use the seawater pump, kaya nga naging 4.79 yan or 4.7 something. And then yung pressure overboard is, let's assume na it is approximate, uh, is constant and much lower than than the pressure of 4.79. So as what we can see here, if we're going to conduct an experiment and then turn on that seawater pump, makikita natin na there is an increase in our pressure. Okay? So pag pinataasan natin yung pressure natin, of course, the common sense will dictate us na tataas yung flow rate natin. That is assuming na yung pressure ng overboard, pressure dito banda, is constant. Okay? And of course, pag pinatay natin yung seawater pump, bababa yung pressure natin, and then the pressure difference will be smaller, and of course, the flow rate will also return to its original value. So this is just an example of uh, how that characteristic curve is being applied in real real case scenario. In this particular case here, in our seawater system. Okay, so the most common commonly used flow meters are the differential pressure flow meters. Okay, so yung concept nito is the difference in pressure will help us measure the flow in our particular system. Okay, so ito yan. So this kind of uh, flow measurement uses the principle of Bernoulli, Bernoulli's, so which states that the pressure drop across the constriction, yung constriction dito is yung harang, yung harang na yan. Okay? Yung pressure daw, yung pressure drop around here, the pressure or the pressure difference or the change in pressure across the constriction is proportional to the square of the flow rate. So later on, we will have an example na we will solve the flow rate based on the differential pressure from this side here up to this side here. Okay? And then the most common differential pressure flow meters are the orifice, the nozzle, the venturi nozzle, and then the venturi flow meters. Okay? So in order to appreciate this concept, let us take a look at some uh, animation here. Okay, so for example, ito yung tubo natin, and then we want to measure the flow rate in our system. So let us take a look at the operation. Okay, so yan yung uh, differential pressure flow meter natin. And then the difference in pressure will be reflected in this gauge here. So at this particular moment, the, the difference is 216 millibar. So para mas ma-appreciate natin, let us take a look at the yung parang x-ray version. Okay? So yung bilog na nakikita natin dito, this one here, that is our orifice plate. And this plate here will create a constriction of our fluid. So yung dalawang tubo na to will measure the pressure at this side here and then at this side here. And then the difference between the pressure here and here will be reflected in our diaphragm sensor here. Okay? And of course, the value of our diaphragm will be reflected in our uh, gauge.
So at normal operation, the pressure in this point and this point here is the same. However, if there is already a flow or movement of your fluid, so as what we can see here, yung bilog na maliit dito creates a constriction. And this constriction here increases the velocity of our fluid. So para mas maintindihan natin, yung example nito is yung parang sa CR nyo, and then, or sa, sa, banyo, sa, sa lababo, yung gripo nyo, tinatakpan nyo yung half portion, and then pinapadalo nyo yung water. As what, as what you can observe there, mas mataas yung, uh, mas bumibilis yung daloy ng tubig, di ba? Or, it, it increases the, the velocity of your water. So, in this particular case here, same lang yung nangyayari. So, tinatakpan natin yung a little portion here, and then, it creates a constriction, and according to Bernoulli's principle, mas tataas yung velocity natin dito na banda. And, that increase in velocity will result in a lower pressures. As what we can see here, yung sa tubo natin. Dito, mas yellow sa compared to this one. It means that the pressure around this point here is much greater compared in this particular area. Okay? And then, the difference between the two points will be reflected in our diaphragm. Okay, and then the result in the diaphragm here, yung nakikita natin dito, will be converted into electrical signal para mas ma-reflect ma dun sa gauge natin kanina in a digital format. Okay, so eto yung flow meter natin dito is an orifice type flow meter. So there are also other flow meters such as nozzle flow meter at saka yung venturi flow meter kanina. So basically, there is a reason bakit nag evolve yung flow meter natin. As what we can see in this particular animation here. So, example, ito yung fluid natin dito. And then let's create an arrow dito para mas makita natin yung movement or yung flow ng direction natin of our fluid. So as what we can see around this portion here, it creates a disturbance. Yung parang may bagyo dito. Okay? So para mas malesen yung bagyo natin dito, yung disturbance natin, nag-convert siya into yung nozzle type. Ito na yung nozzle type flow meter natin. And then, to further decrease the disturbance around here, yung disturbance na yan, we can change the type into a Venturi nozzle. Ito yung Venturi nozzle type. So, nakikita natin dito, mas maliit na yung disturbance. At dito naman, sa Venturi flow meter natin, medyo suabe na yung flow or movement ng, ng fluid natin, which reduces the decrease in pressure at saka yung disturbance lalo na pag yung fluid natin may mga small particles hindi siya pure na liquid form okay so in order to solve the value of the flow using yung na mention natin kanila na Bernoulli's principle okay yung kanina sabi doon that the difference in pressure is equal to the square of the flow rate so, since yung concern natin dito is yung flow rate, we can solve the flow rate using this formula here. So, yung Q natin is our flow rate is equal to K. The K here is the constant of proportion, proportionality. And K is equal to the square root of the differential pressure. Or which is equal to the P input, yung dito banda, the P, the dito banda and then yung P output, yung sa second portion dito. Okay, so, and then, if you're going to try to substitute some value there, so, for example, if the constant of proportionality is just equal to 1, and then yung pressure dito banda is uh, 80 PSI, let's say the, the unit is PSI, and then yung dito banda is 66 PSI, so if you're going to subtract that one, and then get, get the square root, so yung answer ng flow rate natin, Q is equal to 3.74. So, ibig sabihin, from this point here to that point this point here, yung flow rate natin is 3.74. Okay, so if you have some questions or clarification, please comment down below the video and I will try to answer your questions as soon as I can. So good luck and see you.